Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna do a painting for my boy Connor. Uh, I also did the Native American for him. Um, this one's for his birthday though. It wasn't a commission. I kind of just wanted to do something special for his birthday. I was out in the uh, Bay Area for a week hanging out with him and it, we had a really good time. Unfortunately, the fires are out there causing all types of fuckery and um, we're just hoping that uh, everybody out there stays safe. Uh, today we're going to do some of my music, um, as always, uh, and we're getting away from the money this time. This one was uh, kind of a simple but very, like, uh, it, it turned out kind of cool. I don't want to hold you guys up anymore. Let's just get into the video. So I got this idea from uh, an episode of Rick and Morty where um, the underlying, like you know, message from this arc of that episode was loneliness, uh, specifically with Rick. I wanted uh, Connor to every time he looked at this, you know, remember that we we do feel the the. the we do feel the thoughts of uh, loneliness, but um, he, he doesn't have to be, uh, neither does Rick. You know, there's there's always somebody out there and I wanted them to know that he's got a friend in me if he ever needs me. And uh, didn't mean to be all, like, you know what I'm saying, gushy gushy on some sensitive shit, but that's my boy. He doesn't have to feel alone and shit. And, and, and this world is fucking crazy out here right now. A lot of people do feel that way. So, uh, wanted him to remember that he's not. <laughs> This background was by far my favorite part of this painting. Dude, this background was so much fun. Um, I've always like uh, really enjoyed doing galaxies and starry backgrounds and whatnot, but I knew because this one was gonna be um, sort of like the, it was gonna hold the most weight in the painting, have the most, take up the most space. I wanted it to be like uh, extra good, so um, I, uh, I took I, I, I took a few extra steps in this uh, this galaxy type background and whatnot, and I think it really paid off. Uh, all of the blues and all the looks like all the gases and whatnot. I enjoyed doing a little flickering of the of the paint outside. Um, I think the stars came out great, and I I really enjoyed this background. Probably my favorite background that I've done thus far. The one thing that got me when I was doing the, the background that I didn't think about later was um, I thought that I could just paint over the stars and it would just go over, but uh, the way that the uh, the way that the paint works is you got to go over it a whole lot of times before it actually covers that color. So I went back and forth a lot with uh, some of the stars that I flicked onto the painting because uh, the skin tone wouldn't go over it or parts of brick wouldn't. Um, I, it wasn't easy to paint over it, but I still think I did the best thing in this. But maybe next time, maybe I'll put some like mask and tape down to at least. Uh, block a few parts where the stars come in to kind of save myself some time later. Uh, again, this is all a fucking learning process. <laughs> Also, I wanted to note, while doing this painting, originally I was just going to do uh, Rick in, in the co colors that he usually is in, like just do the flat, the bluish green, and then the white, and, but I thought, uh, why do it like that? Um, this is a painting, I can really make it my vision, so you'll see a lot more um, variations in the contrast of color with his skin, uh, with his hair, with, uh, with everything, and I thought that that was really cool because I'm kind of putting my own spin on uh, the art that I... That I, that I do so love. Uh, me and Connor both love this show. Rick and Morty, uh, more fan art to come, uh, I promise, in the future. All 
All right, so in this episode, in the end, when uh, Rick is sitting on the toilet in the same scene that I'm painting here, he uh, realizes that um, he realizes how lonely he is and uh, how much a you know a good friend could actually you know help. Uh, he's, and he's realizing this a little bit too late. But uh, as he sits on the toilet, there's a whole bunch of sirens going off saying, King of shit, and ah, look at you, and uh, it's, 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 it's pretty hilarious, but at the same time, kind of sad, but um, that's why I put the King of shit on the little plaque down there, but I thought this painting would be a little bit cooler uh, if I had it kind of just on some, like, just some rock floating through space. I, I think that that gave more of a sense of, uh, more of a sense of loneliness and, and you know, and it made the quote at the end, because I put a little quote at the bottom at the end that's, that's basically telling him to, if he is feeling this way, that he doesn't have to. And then I put, you know what I'm saying, from Chuck Lee, from, from me. And, uh, <laughs> And I figure, like, you know, I can do anything that I want with this. This is, my, this is a painting that I'm coming up with, so I don't have to have the King of Shit plaque. And uh, those that watch Rick and Morty, they, they know what's up, and that's my phone. I'm gonna leave it in the video, because I don't have any time to make this fucking video. So, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Guys, that's gonna do it with another video. Um, we're doing them, we're going strong. Every week we're pumping out a new video, killing it. Um, big ups to uh, my boy Connor for putting me up at his fucking place for a little while. Big ups to his brother Clint that also lives out there. Love both of those guys. Um, it was a lot of fun making this painting. Uh, even though I was a little bit pressed for time, uh, I think I got it done quick. Uh, look forward to next week's episode. Um, I think that one's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna use a different size canvas next week, so um, we're gonna do something different there. But we might bring something back from this week's episode. Uh, uh, still undecided on what I'm gonna do, but like and subscribe so you can find out. Um, peace, love, guys. Uh, hugs and you know what I'm saying kisses glad to be home uh, and again hope that everything goes okay for our brothers and sisters out west uh, keeping you guys in our like good hopes and you know what I'm saying all of that shit <laughs>